Hey guys, what's up? It's QB time, and in today's video, we'll be looking at the YJ Upo 2x2. The YJ Upo 2x2 is a new 2x2 from YJ. It's supposed to be a cheaper version of the Ling Po. Speaking of the Ling Po, they look very similar. Now try to tell me which one is which cube. Comment down below which cube you think is the Upo. So let's take a look at this puzzle a little bit closer, shall we? The Waja Upo is available on the cubicle.us and many other cube stores for less than $6. It has the standard side length of 50mm and is available in white, black, and stickerless pink plastics. This puzzle as expected comes with the high quality Moe shades. Overall I've had no chipping or peeling on any of the stickers. The Upo's stats match up pretty closely to the Lingpo, but is its performance on par? Well, the simple answer to that question is no. Its performance is a little bit lacking due to the major lockups that this puzzle has and popping and even corner twists. However, this puzzle does have a nice smooth feeling. It's like a smoother Lingpo, and it is also very, very fast. As you can see, it is able to perform over U2s. But overall, the performance isn't that good. Compared to a Lingpo, it just isn't as good at turning basically. Algorithms flow but it sometimes can even pop and it's just not that good at performing. Now we can see why lockups are present on this puzzle if we take a look at the corner cutting. This cube can't do 45 degrees, so much pressure it would not be allowed to be done during a solve. And reverse cutting can't be over a half a piece or it will just lock up. It can do about that much reverse and it can corner cut about that much. But overall, it's just not that good. And during solves, you happen to get a lot of catches like with these two pieces on each other and it makes for a not pleasant turning experience. However, I am very puzzled why this happens when we take a look at the mechanism. These cubes have very, very similar mechanisms. Let's take a look at the edge pieces. They're almost the exact same. There are a couple divots where there aren't on the u posts, such as right here on the top and a little bit different on the bottom here but overall they're basically the same the corner pieces are also very very similar and overall have the same basic shape but i think the reason of the lockups can be found on the center piece here if we look the lingpo is more rounded off than the upo here and overall i think that's why you get less lockups on a lingpo so now i'm going to give you my final thoughts and a conclusion about this puzzle now before i do this it may sound like I've been roasting this puzzle the entire video, but I really haven't. It's a very good puzzle, especially for beginners. This would make a great first speed cube for 2x2. By far, the cheap price paired with the pretty good performance is overall an okay puzzle to start out with, but I would recommend the Yuxin over this puzzle. Some pros that go along with this puzzle that I can name off are it's fast, and it has a good feeling to it. And then everything else really is a con. It has pops, corner twists, and uh, catches a lot. But overall, compared to like a Lingpo and a Dian, I give this puzzle a B minus because it's not the greatest puzzle out there, but it is okay for a beginner especially. So that basically wraps up this video. Uh, comment what you want to see next on my channel. I'm having a bunch of new cubes come, like the new cheese cube and square one and some other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment what you want to see next on my channel. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.